bridging the mental health gap when it comes to people of color. Mary Jane Bliesa has more on how medical providers are working to break cultural barriers. Our resistance is our resilience. Dr. Mary yeah, Russell yeah, is a Navajo psychiatrist focusing on the health care treatment of Native Americans. She says the economic impact of COVID-19 put a strain on the indigenous community. It really came to light all of these issues around the inequities and poor access to care and poverty rates, you know, over two times uh, higher in indigenous peoples. Native Americans aren't alone. Mental health amongst people of color was the main topic at Wednesday's psychopharmacology update put on by the Nevada Psychiatric Association. Dr. Francis G. Wu is a psychiatrist affiliated with UC Davis Medical. He spoke with clinicians on how they can gather information on what cultural issues patients of color face. Stigma is a major issue, especially in the Asian American Pacific Islander a community. If they even get to a provider, then we do have the potential problem that the clinicians may not uh, be culturally and linguistically competent to provide the care. Dr. Ann Childress, a Las Vegas psychiatrist, sees those trends hold true right here in the Valley. I see uh, fewer Hispanics and fewer African American patients. They often don't come in until it's a real crisis. Dr. Childress also says some people don't seek treatment because they can't afford it. We actually pay people to come and see us. We're often looking at medications that aren't out on the market yet. Uh, we're also doing some non-medication studies and everything I do is free. And the question begs, how do we bridge the mental health gap among people of color? So Dr. Liu recommends meaningful outreach and also collaboration between the providers and the communities involved.